WebStorm makes its first release of 2020 with improved look and feel, better view support, run prettier on save, and more. Let's take a look at WebStorm 2020.1. WebStorm and the IDE platform itself bring new look and feel improvements in 2020.1. WebStorm now uses JetBrains Mono, our open source font for development, as its default. You can adjust the font size and the optional use of ligatures in the IDE font settings, or even choose a previous font. New installations also use our new IntelliJ Lite theme, as shown here. Want quick inline documentation, but don't want the keystrokes to activate it? 2020.1 now shows the documentation pop-up when hovering over a symbol. If you find this distracting, it can be disabled in settings. Other look and feel changes in this release, Zen mode for focused editing, and the start of a new lightweight projectless light edit editor. We want WebStorm to be the most helpful IDE for working with Vue projects. 2020.1 adds support for the Vuex state pattern and library. By teaching WebStorm the Vuex structure, we can now auto-complete values from the state object. We can navigate from a symbol to the implementation, and then, for example, to a getter. Want to navigate to an action from a symbol? WebStorm 2020.1 can do so, and for mutations as well. If you're in a store action or mutation, autocomplete also works on the custom state object's properties. In WebStorm 2020.1, you'll find support for the components defined using the Composition API from Vue 3. In the Templates section of the component, the IDE will properly resolve and autocomplete symbols returned from the setup function of the component, including properties in the reactive state, computed properties, and refs. WebStorm has always had advanced support for JavaScript and TypeScript, and we've improved this in 2020.1. We discussed the new quick documentation look and feel, but we also improved what's shown for JavaScript and TypeScript. For example, we provide the symbol's type and visibility, plus the implementation location. We also added a new intention to convert code to optional chaining and or nullish coalescing in the latest JavaScript and TypeScript. Other improvements to JavaScript and TypeScript and frameworks include support for TypeScript 3.8 features, support for Angular 9, and a couple of improvements to React support. Tooling is part of JavaScript development, and WebStorm 2020.1 has improvements to the developer experience. Prettier is a popular code formatting tool, and in 2020.1, WebStorm will apply its rules immediately upon saving a file. No more need for file watchers or plugins. Another improvement is that now WebStorm comes bundled with Grazi, our spelling, grammar, and style checking tool. Grazi will help you keep your code error-free when adding comments, commit messages, and various language constructs. If you like our integrated terminal but want two sessions at once, 2020.1 introduces split terminal sessions. This lets you run a tool in one terminal and still do work in another. In 2020.1, you'll also find some improvements that help you work with VCS more smoothly. Want to make your commit history more linear and comprehensible? This just got a lot easier thanks to the updated, more interactive rebasing commits dialog. Reorder your commits, squash into one combined commit message, fix up and more, all done visually. Other VCS enhancements in this release, a new commit tool window for handling all commit related tasks. Bear in mind that it's disabled by default for all existing users. Improvements to the Git branches pop up, including an explicit search field and the reworked refresh button. WebStorm 2020.1 focuses on look and feel and better support for JavaScript tools and frameworks, plus other platform enhancements. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope you like WebStorm 2020.1.